Hey guys, Nick here with GearNut, and today we're doing something a little bit different. So, I got one of these little cheap box fans, and I duct taped a 20 by 20 by 1 box, or a filter, onto the back of it. Now, I did this for my shop. I wanted to cut down on the dust from sanding and sawing, and this thing works. Um, it works okay, but I wanted to see how good this is compared to the Honeywell HPA 300. Now that's my house unit. That thing is fan freaking tastic. So I got the ground fogger set up here. We're gonna dump in a full charge and then we're gonna turn this on and see what happens. So I've got three settings on here. I've got one, two, three. We're gonna do the max setting on both and see what the difference is and see how good they are. <laughs> Which one's better, right? Which one's worth the money? So. Let's take, let's turn this ground fogger on. Ooh, that's loud. That's not bad, but you guys can see I'm getting a bunch of blow by it. It, it doesn't have as much suction as I think the Honeywell HPA 300 is going to have. So, it's pretty good. As you guys can see, it is clearly sucking in <laughs> the ground fog, and it's taking it out. I There's still some blowing through. I can't tell if it's blowing around it or blowing through it. But it is working. So a cheap box fan and a 20 by 20 by one filter does in fact actually work. <laughs> How crazy is that, huh? That is pretty insane. And whew, kind of smoky and stinky, but it's doing the job. And for a small garage, this works out great. So this is only using 71 watts on mode three on the highest setting. Pretty good deal. I'm pretty happy with that. So, we're gonna take, let this kind of purify the air for a minute, and then we're gonna see what the Honeywell does. So, be back in one second. Actually, it's about ready. As soon as this thing, little light kicks off, we'll be good to go. It's gotta heat up. And the Honeywell is gonna get a bigger dose because it had to prime, I should have primed the ground fogger for this guy. So he got a lighter dose than the Honeywell is going to get, but I think the Honeywell is going to be better. We'll see. All right, guys. So I've got the Honeywell HP A300 here, and it's kind of a weird name, but uh, it's, it uses three of the big filters, and this thing's pretty expensive. It's about 300 bucks. So about 30 bucks, 300. <laughs> is it really that much better? So Ground fogger is reset, ready to go. Let's set this off to the side. This one's a little bit different. It blows out of the top and then it sucks it in on the front. So I'm gonna set this one back a little bit farther because it's just gonna, I don't know. We'll try it back a little bit farther and see what happens. I feel, I don't know, it's not a, they're not the same. Ah, we'll just sit it right here, see what happens. We're gonna turn this on turbo and get this show on the road. So. Here we go. You're probably not supposed to be doing this with an air purifier. I'm probably ruining these filters, but it's all right. They're used. I can replace them. It's turbo time. Oh, wow. That one has a lot more suction. Woo! It is <laughs> sucking that fog from clear behind the camera. We're still getting some blow by up here, as you guys can see. But it is pulling up and around. 
and down and in, and it's it's pulling it. But we're getting a little bit of a vortex up here at the top. Wow, that's got a lot more suction. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, is it worth the extra price? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it looks better. It works better in my opinion. But is it worth that much more money? You guys decide for yourself. This thing is pretty great. Let's turn it this way. Let it really suck the rest of this fog out of my shop. But uh, I guess that's what you can do with a ground fogger. So, Nick here with GearNut. Let's turn this off so you guys can hear me. So, Nick here with GearNut. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little video. If you're on a budget, this does work. It does pull some stuff. You can see the filter back here. It is getting a little bit dirty. But I am pretty impressed with both of these. They definitely have a place. I'd rather have this one in my house than in my garage. Would I like to have one in my garage and my house? Yes. But I can't afford that. So that's why we've got this little box fan, cheap setup. I did take duct tape, or actually Gorilla Tape, and tape all the way around the front of this so that I didn't get as much blow by with that round, uh, round blade in a square setup cage. So little modification, but with a little bit of ingenuity, you guys can get yourself one of these little setups and it works. It works. So, Nick here with GearNut. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have any other ideas, comment section below, let me know. But I don't have the gauges to tell you the exact data of which one's purifying the air to what quality. So, I wish I did. I just don't have the money for those tools. This is the a nice little thing I wanted to try, and I'm glad you guys went along for the ride. So, I'm going to get this back into the house after I clean it up a little bit. <laughs> and hopefully, the wife can't tell. <laughs> I need to change my filters out. She's going to kill me. So, Nick here with GearNut. I'll check you guys later.